नमस्कार आई एम डी वेलकम सू इन दिस वीकली वेदर डिस्कशन टुडे इज फिफ्टीन जून सो मेन हाईलाइट्स ऑफ टुडे इज वीकली डिस्कशन इज फर्स्ट स्टूडी सी वर सेकंड ऑफ स्टॉल डिस्कशन अबाउट दिस सेकंड ऑफ स्टॉल पेपर जो है हीट वेव कंडीशन ऑफ डिफरेंट पार्ट्स ऑफ कंट्री एंड ऑल्सो दिस मानसून स्टेटस ऑफ मानसून स्टेटस ऑफ फर्दर एडवांस over different parts of the country so these are the three highlights with these three highlights we will discuss more so let us uh, look at uh, yesterday yesterday's synoptic uh, system including uh, all the weekly uh, systems so you can see that uh, we were having one western disturbance during the period of 9 to 14 june two north south curves one over south and south india and another over uh, eastern parts of the country and another uh, well back locus area was formed over north east of bangal and that one area of uh, this nama region during the period of 9 to 10 june so we have the uh, synoptic system prevailing uh, last week and uh, we will discuss separately for the uh, this uh, cyclone this storm so this is a uh, this is the observed weather last week uh, hail storm activity was observed at asuru tropics over himachal pradesh and also over western parts of mp that is madhya pradesh and uh, this madhya pradesh if we see the heavy rainfall uh, activities it was observed mainly over north east india and also over asuru tropics of south central india including kerala and nadu south india and nadu and uh, one activity of heavy or Spell observed over the Saurashtra and the Kutch. So these are the heavy rainfall activities of last week. And if we see the heat wave uh, conditions observed, these are mainly observed over eastern parts of the country, including Bihar, Jharkhand, Bengali, West Bengal, Odisha, and adjoining uh, areas of Central India, including Chhattisgarh, eastern parts of MP, and also eastern parts of Uttar Pradesh, and North Central India, mainly over Telangana and uh, coastal Andhra Pradesh. This is the today's information. The heat wave conditions also prevailing over the Gama region. So these are the weather observed during the past week. So this is the status of weekly rainfall in terms of departure, long-term average. So you can see that this uh, rainfall was above normal over Andaman, Nepal, Islands, and Saurashtra and Kutch, and normal over this region of uh, northeast, northeast India, and also North America and Lakshadweep. Otherwise, the uh, rainfall, weekly rainfall, was. Uh, Either uh, dry or below normal, and uh, if you see the seasonal rainfall, more or less same picture is there, except this western parts of Rajasthan and Punjab reported a normal to above normal rainfall, and also some of the other chain and one points. Otherwise, most parts of the country reported either below normal or dry conditions. If you see the advance of southwest monsoon to the upper degree, you see that uh, this uh, southwest monsoon was uh, onset over Kerala on 8th of June against the normal date of 1st June. And conditions are further favorable for the further advance of south east monsoon over some of the parts of south central India and eastern parts of India and adjoining areas during the period of 18 to 21st June. So this blue color shows uh, where monsoon has already advanced. It includes south parts of south central India, including these parts of Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, Kerala, and also both parts of uh, north east India. Otherwise. Conditions are further favorable for other areas of South Central India and also eastern parts of the country during the period of 18 to 21st of June. So this is the forecast for advance of South West Monsoon 2023. If we see the detail of uh, this very severe cyclone this storm paper joy, you can see that uh, this is an formation based on 17:30 hours IST of today. You can see that uh, today in the evening 17:30 it was over this area over northeast. Uh, Arabian Sea and adjoining coastal areas of Saurashtra and Kutch, exactly over 22.9 and 68.0. You can see that it was uh, and it, it was uh, moved uh, during past six hours at the speed of 12 kmph in the direction of east, and uh, it was uh, 130 km west north west of the Bhuvanga, 70 km west south west of the Kau Kerpo. And 100 km west south west of Delhi and 240 km south south east of Karachi in Pakistan, and it is very very likely to move north eastwards and cross Saurashtra and Kutch at the Pakistan coast between Mandalay, Gujarat and Karachi, Pakistan near the Hau port in Gujarat during next couple of hours. That is, in the next few hours, a very severe cyclone storm 
with a maximum sustained wind speed of 115 to 120 I kph just into 140 kph and the landfall process has already been commenced around 1830 hours ST of today that is 15 June and would continue till midnight of today that is 15 June. So this is the observed and forecast track of the cyclone in the black points to the observed track and red points to the possible forecast track. So you can see that the system is just here and this will continue to move northeast wards during the remaining period. And so this is the wind, uh, uh, this uh, wind region. So you can uh, uh, visit continuously on our website that is mosom.imd.gov.in, RSMC Numeri and our Director General continuously monitoring and uh, giving briefing to media persons and also this updated information is regularly going on uh, our official Facebook of IMD and Twitter pages. So you can follow our uh, different uh, modes of communication and you can refer our detailed bulletin available on these platforms. So it is my humble request to kindly visit our website and also our Facebook and Twitter page for the updated information about this site which is not before joining. So if now let us see the five days forecast and warnings. You can see that mainly forecast region is given for heavy rainfall over this uh, Samastakas, Gujarat and Rajasthan region for the next three days and also heavy to very heavy rainfall warning has been given to parts of North East India during the five days and heat wave conditions likely to continue over eastern parts of the country and in central and north parts of India during the next three, four days. So this is the main warning for the next five days. You can refer our website also. And now let us see the pressure and warning graphics under the influence of cyclone storm before joy. Main warning for pressure main is over uh, northeast uh, Arabian Sea at joining Sorastra and Kachri in Paul. Uh, this today night and uh, till uh, morning of 16. Morning of 16 this uh, intensity will reduce. However, this on uh, the north and northeast Arabian Sea likely to experience uh, storm events according to pressure and warning has been given for this region of 16 days. However, main warning is given for today night and tomorrow from tomorrow morning this intensity will reduce and there is no warning for sort of stuff as in urgent area of privacy from this uh, 18th of March. So accordingly, this main present warning is for today night and thereafter uh, from 16th this will, uh, intensity will reduce. However, for the land areas of Gujarat, this wind, this wind warning has been soon mainly for Kash, Delhi, Porbandar, Jamnagar, Rajpur, Junagar and Morgan districts. So you can refer here this with the different maps. So in that side we can say that wind warning is issued for today and tomorrow mainly and thereafter uh, this uh, wind will reduce. Now you can see the post landfall outlook and uh, after the landfall uh, of the system, the system is likely to move northeast parts across northern parts of Gujarat and region gradually. However, it will maintain its intensity of cyclone storm till the morning of 16 that is tomorrow morning and thereafter it will uh, weaken gradually and will see as a depression over southern parts of Rajasthan by evening of 16. Under the influence of this system like moderate and fall is is happening is for interior districts having to have extreme heavy rainfall is likely at isolated places very likely over this Manaspanta and Patan and heavy to very heavy rainfall at isolated places over Kutch, Morbi, Mesana and Salakanta of northern parts of Gujarat and isolated heavy rainfall likely over remaining parts of uh, Gujarat districts on uh, the 16th of June. And light to moderate rainfall at most places with heavy to very heavy rainfall at other places like the world, Maraspanta and Savakanta on 6th, 17th of June. Now let us look at the weather outlook for next two weeks. So you can see that this uh, region of Northwest India, Northeast India and this Tamil Nadu, Kerala, South into Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, South into Karnataka, South Coast of Andhra and South in this Rajasthan region will receive either normal or ever normal and fall during the week 1. Otherwise, as parts of the country likely to receive either dry weather or low normal rainfall. If you see the week 2 conditions of rainfall, this whole peninsular India likely to receive normal to above nor normal to above normal, normal rainfall. This parts of North East India, mainly Nagaland and Nagaland, and Manipur Islands, and this Northwest India, including this uh, Rajasthan region, northern parts of Gujarat, and northern parts of MP and Uttar Pradesh region, where in week 2, this above normal to normal rainfall is likely. If we see the maximum temperature scenario, during week 1, for the period of 16 to 22nd June, we will see that this northwest India 
whole region of Northwest India likely to experience uh, below normal maximum temperature and North East India also likely to experience below normal maximum temperature. However, eastern parts of the country, as well as Central India and South and North Central India, mainly this region of uh, this uh, Telangana, Maharashtra region, and also Karnataka region, likely to experience this uh, uh, above normal uh, uh, maximum temperatures. In week two, you see that this uh, this uh, below normal temperatures, below normal temperatures, are likely to experience Northwest. South of India and also parts of North East India. However, this eastern parts of the country and adjoining North Pennsylvania of India and Maharashtra lack of experience our normal temperature, our normal maximum temperature. Therefore, during week one, this heat wave to see the wave conditions like to continue over this region, eastern parts of the country, adjoining central and north Pennsylvania of India. And the heat wave condition and isolated progress like to continue over eastern parts of the country. North Central India and Maharashtra and the Maharashtra region are doing B2. So these are the maximum temperature forecast. And uh, this is all about today's weekly, weekly discussion. You can stay connected with us through our different modes of communication like Facebook, Twitter, and our website mosam.ind.gov.in. You can uh, also visit our RSM New Delhi website also for the cyclone uh, Storm Bipal Joy and the official and morning graphics. So this is a total discussion. And we will discuss uh, again tomorrow with daily this discussion as well as, as well as weekly discussion on next week. Namaskar, Jai.